Good morning, staff and students. Today is Friday, prom day in Wildcat Country. And these are your morning announcements. The prom is going to take place today and the catwalk is from 3.30 to 5 p.m. I don't know how to describe it. It's like magical. It's like the Grammy Awards. I get butterflies in my stomach. It's a fashion show, a competition. It's stressful. I'm excited. I'm just ready to get it over with. Proms in Flint are a very special thing. I have a black, sparkly green and gold ball gown. It's real cute. It's elegant. She picked the outfit. So a yellow shirt and a yellow and black bow tie. My date, we like close friends. He actually came in the classroom with a pizza box. I know this may be cheesy, but will you be my prom date? Originally, I was gonna go with two girls, but that didn't work out. <laughs> this prom is coming up. It's really special because it's the last prom for Northwestern. Food residents in shock tonight after hearing of the potential closing of another high school. The students will no longer step Fox into Flint Northwest. It'll Northwestern. be the third high school to close in the There's city. There's only going to be one high school in the city. The plan lays off 268 238 teachers. Flint schools facing a $10 million deficit. I, I was thinking of maybe like, cause you can't even see my shoes. So I was like, maybe like some sandals or something. Still trying to find a dress. No, 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 I'm saying. Okay, you gotta be a model here. Let's <laughs> 5.45, we get on the bus at 5.45. It's cute. So how are you feeling this morning? I mean, the big day is in a couple of hours, really. Yes, I'm feeling super nervous, but I'm really very excited. And how does it feel knowing this is the school's last prom ever and that you'll be a part of it? It feels like I have, to, it's like so much pressure, like I have to go out with a bang. <laughs> and you will. She's wearing purple, color of royalty, so she'll do great. For now, live in Burton, I'm Courtney Wheaton with Fox 66 News. Four years too long. Four years later. Four years after decisions by politicians poisoned their water, the people of Flint say the state hasn't kept its promise. The state says the water is clean enough to end distribution of bottled water. Flint will soon run out of water, bottled water that is. These are the people waiting in line for bottled water and so are these people. I still got lead in my water. You don't trust them? No. The city will stop handing out water once supplies run out. Every time I go somewhere, someone hits me with a water jug. We were told the water crisis was over. We still can see like yellow colors and brown in our water. They still say it's safe to drink. It's really not safe to drink. We don't trust them. The whole situation is a slap in the face. The water is a problem, but it's more to it than that. Closing our schools, taking away jobs. Ten abandoned houses on one block. The violence and the killing. I'm just tell you like this. Flint always got the short end of the stick. This is Mama, will you just leave I know it. I'm looking. She looks so pretty. This is their day, huh? <laughs> it's like magical. You have these people who you see all year and they're dressed in like casual clothing. And then they look like princesses or queens. And it's just a transformation. They just want to have a day where you ain't got to worry about nothing. See, my uncle didn't get to go to prom. He was 17 when he got murdered. 
A lot of people in my family didn't get to go to prom, so I'm doing this for everybody in my family. It's our time to shine, you know. People in Flint don't get no time to shine. Like outsiders literally just see the bad in Flint. I feel as if they're outside of it and they're not looking inside at what we really are because Flint is the exact opposite of that. I want people to see us for who we are. I feel like Flint is literally one of a kind. And if you don't take a step in, you will never know.